So today we're going to take a look at how we can use Bittrex 24 CRM personalized forms to try and increase your conversion rate when sending out an email using the Bittrex 24 lead automation to pre-fill out form fields and allow the customer to only fill out the necessary fields that they need to. So in this session, what we're going to take a look at is how we can create a Bittrex 24 CRM personalized form. We're then going to take a look at how we can create the automation to automatically send out an email with a link to that personalized form. And then we're going to also look at how once that form has been submitted, we can automatically move the lead along the Kanban in your lead automation and trigger another automation rule. So let's first of all start off by creating that Bittrex24 CRM, personalized CRM form. So what we're going to do here is go to the CRM, click on CRM forms. If you do not see that on the top menu, it's likely that it will be under the more option. Click on CRM forms, and if you're wanting to create a form from scratch, click on add new, and then create your form using the builder. I have a free Bittrex 24 gift form already created, which is what we're going to use for our personalized CRM form. So let's click and edit just to see what it looks like. If you're new to Bittrex 24 CRM forms, then they are quite simple to create. You can simply click on fields, click on add field, and you can pull in any fields that exist inside any one of the CRM elements here. In our case today, we're going to use leads, and I'm going to use their first name, last name, email, phone number, and Bittrex 24 gift. Now, you can see at the top, pre-filled form fields, increase conversion. So what we're going to do today is we're going to use this personalized CRM form and we're going to send it through an automation. And what that's going to do, it's going to populate the first four fields automatically with the data that we've already collected inside a lead. And all we want the potential customer to do is just to fill out what gift they would like to receive. There are a couple of other important parts. We obviously want to focus on the CRM entity as a lead. And you can see in this client match, which is what today's demonstration is about, is that this feature is enabled. So again, this allows us to automatically send the form to the potential customer and have that data filled out already. So once you're happy with your form, click on save. And then I'll just return back to our system. So now that we've created the form, what we want to do is use that form link in lead automation. So if I go to my leads and click on automation rules, then what we want to do is click on configure automation rules. And again, for those of you that are new to CRM automation, how Bittrex works is once you create a lead, it's going to generally start off at the first status here. And then as the lead progresses through these different statuses, what it's going to do is it's going to trigger the automation rules off that, that sit directly below each status. So when we create a lead, it's going to send an SMS message out. But the one that we're going to focus on today is when a lead goes to free gift request. What we want to do is we want to send a personalized email to the potential customer with that personalized CRM form link in it. So first of all, you click on add, hover over client communications, and then click on send email. Now I already have a pre-built email here. So if I click on change, I'll just switch the view to visual mode. And you can see in here that you can nicely style up and brand up your own personalized emails. Now, it's going to run immediately. It's going to send it from our person who's responsible for the lead. So it's personalized from the person dealing with the lead itself. We've got a subject and we've obviously got this information in here. Now, the important part of this email is this option here. 
to click here. Now to get that link, all we need to do is click on the three dots to the right hand side, click on personalized CRM forms, scroll down and click on the link here. Then what we do is we cut that out and you'll be able to see here what I've done. Click hover, highlight all the words that you want to click on, click the link tool, click the link, and you can see that that's the tag that we have in there. And that's really important because that's going to send the potential customer to our personalized CRM form. Now, what's going to happen here then is they're going to fill out the fields that they need to. And we want a trigger in this case, because what the trigger allows you to do is it allows you to automatically move the lead to the next status. So in our case, we want to move that lead once that CRM form has been submitted. So again, you click on add, and then you click on CRM form submission. Now I already have mine in place here. So if I click on change, we can give it a name. So we're clear of what's gonna happen on this trigger. And then we can select the form Bitrix24 gift. So once that form that we originally created is submitted, it's going to automatically move the lead from free gift request to free gift wanted. So we know any, any lead that sits within this particular status, we are going to send them out the free gift that they've requested. And it's also going to trigger this automation rule here. So if we click on change, then you can see we have this another personalized email. And you can see the tags within first name and free Bitrix24 gift. Now, how you personalize emails dynamically in Bitrix24 lead automation is inside the email block. Again, click on the three dots, and then we can access any field that exists inside the lead. So we want to click on first name, and that's going to ensure that every lead that passes through your lead statuses and therefore triggering the automation is going to be personalized to that individual lead. So we click on save, and then we come out of here. So click on save everything that we've done. So what we can do here then is we will create a lead now. So we click on add. And let's just say, for example, somebody has called up and we're collecting the information that is on the phone. So we click on Andrew Naylor here. We can see that it has, it's picked up the Naylor in here. We can check to see who that is. So we're okay with that. Put a phone number in. And what we'll also do is put the email. So this is really important because this is the email address that is going to receive the CRM automation email. We can see what the inquiry is about. So it's going to be in this case, let's say they've inquired about some training. And then in here, uh, customer called up to inquire about cloud trading. And that is all the information that we're going to collect in this case. Once I click on save, it's going to ask me if, I, if I'm okay with there being a possible clone. In this case, I am, it's absolutely fine. And you can see in here that we have all the information that we've just collected. I always recommend renaming the leads. We can have some automation to do that if we wanted to. So we can put in this case, training inquiry. And what we can also see is that it's on the right hand side, we have this automation rule that's already been triggered. So we're sending an SMS message to this particular customer. So we've got, thank you for your inquiry. An agent will be in touch soon. If you click on the automation, you can actually see that that has been actioned already. So let's come out of here and look at the Kanban view. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to automatically move this lead into the free gift request sent. Now, if I click into this here and click into 
automation, we can see that the email has successfully been sent. And we can not only see it in the automation, but we can actually see it in the right hand side of the lead where the activity resides. And we can see that that email has been sent. It's got the link in it. And we're going to take a look at what that does to now. So we can see here in my email inbox, I've got the email that's come through. It looks uh, very nice. Click in here. We'll click on open in a new tab. And what's going to happen here is you can see that it's automatically filled out the form. And that's what we're talking about with regards to increasing conversion. They don't have to sit here and fill out all the information. This would be perfect for application forms. It would be perfect for uh, large inquiry forms that you may uh, need to collect a lot of data for that you already have done through your lead process. In our case, it's pretty simple. We're just asking them what they would like uh, as a free Bitrix24 gift. So if I click on here, you can see that we have uh, three different options. I'll select the coffee cup in this place, click on send, and what that's going to do is automatically going to feed the data back into the Bitrix24 CRM. So if I go back to the CRM, so you can see here that without having to do anything, it's automatically moved my training inquiry to the free gift wanted column. And that is because the CRM form was submitted using that trigger in the automation rules. So if I click into here, what we'll be able to see is it's automatically as well populated what gift this particular uh, potential customer would like. If we click on the automation, we'll also be able to see that the automated gift has been sent out as well. And we'll also be able to see here that the status has automatically changed. We can see that the web form was submitted and we can see that email, your Bitrix24 coffee cup is on its way. And if I click into here, we can see that those personalization touches, Andrew and the Bitrix24 coffee cup has automatically been filled out. Same with the subject. We included the free Bitrix24 gift in the subject too in our automation. So if I just come out of here just to finish up on and go back into my emails, you can see that that email has nicely been received in here. Your coffee cup is on its way. And again, it's personalized and specific to that individual lead. So without having to do any, everything manually over and over again, our automation rules can automatically progress a lead through the different statuses that you may have in your Kanban. And that is a great way of closing and converting more and more leads in an automatic way, saving yourself time and getting the end result that you're wanting. So hopefully with these CRM personalized forms, you'll increase those chances of conversion and getting to close out and win this particular lead. Hope you found that useful. Bye for now.